Now, verse 2, verse 2, and verse 4 mention something. I call them the big three. Love of self, love of money, and love of pleasure. These three are causing wicked things to take place in our land. I want you right quick, right quick, I want you to show that beautiful loving family. There's a loving family. I want you to look at that family. Look at that loving family. Look at those leave it to beaver haircuts. Look at how clean they look. Notice where the hands are placed. What a loving, woke, modern family. Here's what Town Hall said about this loving family. A month-long town, town hall investigation revealed new details about the affluent LGBTQ activist couple accused of sodomizing their young adopted sons, now ages 9 and 11, and distributing homemade child pornography of the sexual abuse. Look at this loving family. The investigation reveals that the adoptive father's 33-year-old government worker, William Dale Zulock, Jr., and 35-year-old banker, Zachary Zach Jacoby Zulock, allegedly raped the two boys who were adopted through a Christian Special Needs Adoption Agency. Uh, I would like to say to the Christians out there, be careful who you get your funding from. Be careful who funds you because there is no such thing as free money. There is no such thing as free money. Now we partner up with this corporation, we partner up with that group. Listen, you better find out what they believe. Because sooner or later, if you're spending their money, they're going to yank your chain. And I guarantee you this Christian Special Needs Adoption Agency was probably getting operating on government grants. And they were pimping out their children to nearby pedophiles in the Atlanta area suburbs. Look at this loving family. William and Zach Zulok who was previously accused of raping a child, previously, before they got these, previously accused of raping a child from Oxford, Georgia, have been indicted by a grand jury on charges of incest, aggravated sodomy, aggravated child molestation, felony sexual exploitation of children, and felony prosecution of a minor. Look at this loving family. According to a copy of the 17 count indictment, they allegedly performed oral sex on both boys, forced the children to perform oral sex on them, and anally raped their sons. In at least one instance, the anal rape injured older, uh, injured the older Zootlock, a child who just turned 11 years old. Court's records indicate that the child, the child's sexual abuse stretches back to the early, it stretches back as early as late 2019 and intensified in January of 2021, March 2021, and December 2021 as the offense dates are listed. William uh, Dale Zulock Jr., the government worker, admitted forcing his 11-year-old adopted son to perform an act of sodomy on him with the intent to satisfy his own desires. Lovers of pleasure. Lovers of pleasure. A sworn affidavit filed in support of Williams' overnight arrest back on July the 27th. An updated criminal affidavit says that the child abuse 
The child sexual abuse was filmed by William's husband, Zachary, you know, Zach, with whom he routinely engaged in sexual abuse acts, sexually abusive acts on the boy. Zachary, the household breadwinner, he was a banker, confessed to being the cameraman and authorities allegedly found a folder in his cell phone labeled us, in quotes, that contained videos of William sexually abusing the child. The indictment also charges the Zulox with soliciting two other men, 27-year-old Hunter Clay Lawless and 25-year-old Luis Armando Viscario Sanchez. Uh, through the use of the popular social media through the use of popular social media platforms in the greater Atlanta metropolitan region to perform an act of, pro of prostitution with their child that suffered physical injuries from being brutally raped now look at this Zachary met lawless through a mutual contact on the homosexual dating app Grindr. And they have taken that one down. Zachary spent, sent, he sent photographs and videos to lawless of a, of a little boy he referred to as his son. I'm going to it means have sex, we'll start with an F. My son tonight Stand by, Zachary, Zachary uh, alleged, allegedly messaged Lawless on Snapchat and then sent pictures of himself sexually abusing his 11-year-old child. A list of the state's evidence includes 149 images collected at the home of the Zulox. Two flash drives containing Zachary and Lawless phone data Sexual assault nurse examinations, called SANE, results from the children's medical forensic exams, which gather DNA evidence such as bodily fluids and documented injuries, a text message from Lawless, a Snapchat letter, two written letters from the older Zulok child, and a disc containing a dump a data dump from Viscario Sanchez iPad and iPhone. The findings of the investigation un uncovers the extent of the physical and emotional trauma that uh, the two elementary school brothers endured, as well as the red flags that the state, look at this, as well as the red flags that the state overlooked during the same-sex couple's faster-than-expected adoption process. They overlooked all this stuff, and look at what these children were subjected to. Do you think that they'll ever be right? Bless you all. Do you think that they'll ever make it? Do you think they will ever recover? wickedness this is the wickedness that is going on this is what Paul warned us of